Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kayla Rundle, if you do not know me. And I am back from Las Vegas where I was racing my Camaro at LS Fest in the Grand Champion. And I did go off track, which I didn't get it on footage or on camera, which I'm so sad about, but the car is destroyed. So now I get to make my favorite video ever, which is detailing my own car. It's gonna be a nice relaxing day getting this gorgeous car cleaned up. Luckily it was ceramic coated right before I took it racing. So the wash should be super easy. Let's hear the chop chop, get this thing pulled out and get this baby washed. This car is so ridiculously dirty. I wanna show you the dash on this thing. Like, that's all from Vegas track. So you can imagine how nasty this car is. Look at my race helmet back there. It's just completely dusted in this sandy dust. So we gotta get that taken care of today. We'll start off with giving her a nice foam, let it sit for a little bit. It is pH balanced, so we're not gonna mess with the protective layer on the car. It doesn't need any paint stripping or anything crazy like that. So I wanna bust this out as fast as possible so the car is not sitting in the sun. That carbon roof gets hot extremely fast. Maybe I'm just not used to dark colors on a car because all my cars are white and the carbon's black. I don't know if it's a carbon or that it's super dark, but it gets hot really fast, especially with how hot it is out here in Arizona. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how this Diamond Bright works. So first, I'm just gonna spray off the wheel with water. That's my usual. This is the, the, the delight, <laughs> I can't talk. This is the diluted Diamond Bright. I don't want it to spray like that. Oh, the misting on these IK sprayers are just insanity. My favorite wheel brushes. Be careful, Diamond Bright. It is toxic. Okay, I like just to put a little bit of product in the brush. And I'm going to tackle the lug nut area. I'm going to get in the small areas of my brake caliper that my other brushes usually can't reach with this tiny brush. And spray some on this guy. She's brand new. And don't let this product sit on your wheels. These guys, especially if you have aftermarket wheels, they will destroy your finish. <laughs> Getting a peek of the ceramic coating, it's beating up it's so insane. These tires need a good cleaning, they are bad and sad. Get the little lug nuts clean. My brake caliper, like the hub area of my rotor. Look at that beating. Oh. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh my God, it is like rain. It's falling through the sky, there's no car there. All right, this is the side that went off the track first, so this wheel got a little bit dented up.
I'm already super dirty. <laughs> Step one, fill the foam cannon up with water. Otherwise, it'll get bubbly if you do the soap first. Just plugs in like that. Couple shakes and she's good to go. Since it is ceramic coated and very hot out, I don't need to wipe it down. It literally all comes off in a wipe. Like I can go like that with my hands with the bugs and they come off. Time to pull her in. Hey guys, so I just washed, finished drying off the car. I literally just sprayed it off. All the water came off insanely fast within like 20 seconds throughout the whole car. So I'm gonna use now the Amplify Detail Spray from Superior Image. You can use my name to get 10% off on their website as well. Uh, this has silica in it, so it's more of a protectant spray. This is not just a spray to use before clay barring or doing anything like that. It's a protectant, okay? I'm just gonna go through the car and just give it a nice wipe down so it shines it up real nice. I love the smell of this stuff. And when you're working on it, I always flip the microfiber on the other side once you uh, are wiping it all off. All right, you can't forget the little details like the exhaust tips. This is a secret bottle, but this was a commercial only product, but, and I've had it for a long time because I got it through a guy that uses it professionally, which is, it's secret, but this is the best metal polish ever. For metal polish, all I do is I just put a little bit of metal polish on my rag and I just bring the metal polish around. And metal polish isn't like paint, it's not gonna scratch, it's not gonna you know, do something crazy if you go too hard. With metal polish, you wanna go hard. You really have to scrub all that nasty grime off the carbon. And don't be scared if black comes on your microfiber because you will absolutely destroy your microfiber if you're doing it properly. So it's good if you get that. Looks amazing. And that's it. Hopefully you can tell the difference from like 20 seconds ago. This stuff is the best. Now the whole rear end just looks so mean. Looks great in photos. Dodge burn the exhaust tips a little bit when you're editing. And then, mm, beautiful. Those suckers make a huge difference. Look shiny. And a lot of people always ask me what kind of exhaust those tips are, and those are actually stock. They came stock from factory. I believe it's in the performance pack in the Camaro SS. 
so I did not buy those aftermarket. And low key, even though it looks sick, it kind of sucks because I literally cannot find a diffuser that fits quad tips that I like, that it's in carbon fiber. So that's why that is like one of the only plastic parts of my car because there's no options for me. I wanna like eventually build my own diffuser, but it's like a lot of work for like a little bit of a difference on it. All right, she is all clean. I took off the rubber like weather seal thing and cleaned all the dirt underneath that and sprayed it with the Amplify One tire and it looks brand new. Looks so beautiful. And sometimes I vacuum my carpet up here, which actually, I might give that a hit. That is a very clean engine bay. Now I think I'm gonna tackle the interior. Time slip was in my passenger seat from my last video. I think, yeah. This is where I got the 13-1 on the other side, on the right side. Las Vegas. So it's real. I did it. Well, honestly, my interior isn't that dirty. It just has dust and rocks and sand everywhere. All right, and to protect the interior after I cleaned it, I used the vinyl and leather dressing from Superior Image. And I don't know if I was supposed to put on all the plastics, but I literally covered it on my door, the whole dash, and both seats. And it has a nice satin finish, which is very pretty. And it's very protected. And I put it up on my top of my instrument panel as well just so it protects itself from the sun in the Arizona summer and the car just looks way better and it's all protected and I am cleaning the interior really well because I believe in the next video I'm going to do the seat cover install which is what that bottom piece is I was just like putting it on to see what it looks like so stay tuned for the next video for that <laughs> it's something a little different for the interior I haven't done like any interior mods whatsoever the glass which I use the PNS glass cleaner I do glass last just because I'm able to trash the glass when I'm dressing everything using detailing spray etc and glasses get streaky if you put any product in, so I just like to do it last. Well, I think this Camaro is officially the cleanest Camaro on planet Earth. This thing is ridiculous. No, I didn't detail the suspension. That's for next time, guys. I'm kind of worn out today. But this car just looks absolutely unreal. I feel like it's really hard to detail the inside and outside within the same day. It's kind of a lot of work. I usually just do like the outside or the inside like on different days. But it cleaned up really well. Thank goodness I had the ceramic coating on the Camaro when I was on the track because that definitely saved the paint. There's not an extra rock chip on this car that I found that wasn't there before the track, which is really impressive for me going off into rocks. My side skirts did take a little bit of beating, but I'm sure if I like just 
compound polish out that resin a little bit, um, it will get it out, but I'm gonna leave it because I'm not going to a show or anything soon. So I'll do, deal with that later. This looks unreal, it is so clean. The seats are all protected. Everything's so clean. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I get a lot of questions on what I use on my Camaro for products. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the seat cover install, which is the next video. I have them over here in packages. I'm excited to get those in because then I can take Moco around in the Camaro, <laughs> go get Starbucks with her. I need to drive this thing around because, you know, it's about to get 120 degrees out here in Arizona, so I won't be able to drive it in the insane heat. I mean, I could, but it's just not good for it. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever time it is. I love you guys all so much and appreciate you so, so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.